Hey, what up, YouTube fam? This is Note to Fake Jays, and today I have an unboxing of the Jordan 5 Fire Red <clears throat> that was released um, just, uh, I guess it was like either two weeks earlier uh, when they had the Jordan, uh, you know, the Last Dance docuseries. Um, I was able to get online and uh, get a pair so and it arrived yesterday but I had to leave it out in the garage for for a day or so uh, for it to uh, you know um, uh, to make sure that uh, this whatever it's on the box uh, whether it's the virus or anything like that um, has been uh, cleaned out so I left in the garage and then I just cleaned the box today so I'm opening it uh, with you guys so so here is the box this is the Jordan 5 Retro, retail at 200. Um, number is DA1911102. And I got a size 8.5. Alright, so this is pretty much your standard uh, Jordan box uh, with the flip lid. And uh, yeah, so you can see the stickers already on there. Um, these shoes I have been waiting for some time now for it to uh, retro. Um, I had these. Let's, let's, let's look at see what else is in the box. Oh, what is the sticker here? Mm, I'm not sure what the sticker is, but uh, it's in there. It says YD, YDM. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure what that sticker is about, but anyways, uh, let me see if there's any, yep, there's the quality control uh, t um, stamp right there. Um, there's another, yes, that's the other quality stamp right there, quality control stamp, and then that's the date. Okay, um, that's it. Um, nothing else in the box. All right, so let's get to the shoes. So, um, as I mentioned, you know, I've been waiting for these shoes um, since they came out uh, with the retros, with the countdown pack, with the, um, and then the, with the uh, more of the recent retros with um, Jump Air on the back. I mean, Jump Man on the back. Sorry, uh, but I've been waiting for these. Um, I didn't get the 1999 pair um, with the Nike Air, uh, but so I was really happy uh, and ecstatic that when they're going to retro these again. Uh, fond memories of these was that you know this was my second pair of Jordans. This was a Jordan Five. My first pair was a Jordan Four Cement, uh, white cement gray. And when these came out, um, again, a lot of people had the black ones, uh, which I will bring out to, to just to, you know, have some com some sort of comparison. But, um, but yeah, I got the white ones uh, for when I was in high school and I rocked them um, and they were they were really comfortable if I if I remembered. Um, but uh, yeah, so these were really, uh, and this, so far when I'm, I'm not, you know, pressing down on the leather, it's really soft, so it's a good sign. Um, I think a lot of the people have mentioned that on the review, so this this review might be a little bit late, but um, um, regardless, it is the still review. Uh, the padding here is very soft, and um, let's see, then we have. Yeah, it looks like the leather is pretty much uh, the same all around. It's not like this is different leather than this part. It looks, it feels about the same all around. And, uh, and of course, you know, this is what we're all after, right? The Nike Air. And I'm looking at this and I know for the black metallic pair, um, the E was a little bit, you know, on the droopy side. And I think this, I, I don't know if they actually made the correction. So it looks like the E is much more in line this time. 
although this E looks a little, a little out of place, but, um, but yeah, so these are the ones that I've been wanting, uh, since they retro did in 1999, um, and then I'm just so static that they're releasing the, these now, so, uh, the bottom sole, everything is pretty much original, you have Nike, you have the Red Jumpman, I know eventually this is going to turn yellow, so, I mean, it's inevitable, but, um, and then they got the, the side, the side part here, correct, I know, I know for the, I think the countdown pack, um, this part was red, which is really weird, and then they had retro another one with a jump man on the back, and I think that one was white, um, but I'm glad that they stuck to the original colors. I do have to say, though, that the color uh, pattern and scheme is very simple. I think it's a little too too plain for me. Um, you know, again, with the Jordan PE, he has the 23 uh, stenciled or, or sewn in on the side. Um, and that just kind of gave a lot more character to it. Um, but the original, the one that I had in high school, they didn't have that. So... Um, the toe box, that's another thing that I look at, is they actually improve on the toe box. It's no longer um, very boxy, but it's more slanted here, which is a great look for shoes. Um, this this does give the appearance of a more sleek, uh, faster looking shoe. So I like that. So, so they did a, a, a better job with the toe box. So I appreciate that. Um, a lot of people asked about why they have this piece of paper here. Um, and this is really just to protect the lace uh, guards or lace locks here um, from the tongue. I know the original, um, not the original, but the retro pairs um, that when I opened them up, uh, the lace the lace locks were digging in into the um, the tongue here, and as a result, it made you know indents. And I think that they're trying to prevent this from happening because, you know, this this thing can dig in. And this thing, this thing is pretty uh, tight and pretty tight. So um, so they want to prevent that from digging in. And so they put the little piece of paper there. It's just for safeguards. Um, I know for the tongue aspects of it, um, it's actually not like the original where the original was actually more of a dark gray. And then when you had, um, you know, light reflect reflective on there uh, reflected on there it was really bright um, but in this case um, if you look at it without the light it's actually quite shiny already and I you know obviously they didn't use the same uh, 3 uh, 3m material uh, but they do, did achieve in terms of the of how how um, reflective it is from the um, other pairs the retro pairs. So I would say the original 1999, and then now the 2020 retro, the tongues are probably the the most shiniest. Okay, um, let me let me see if I can maybe open this up for you guys. Okay, so the so they put this thing here to protect the tongue. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty thick cardboard so it, it keeps this tongue pretty pristine so that's good um and i and i think the originals maybe the 1999s also did not have this red part sticking out i think it was probably just like that but i may be wrong i think the original at least from what i remembered um, the the back felt here was not sticking out. Um, it was more. It was covered. It was more hidden. So um, <clears throat> the shoes. It has the Nike Air. I mean, the insole has Nike Air. Um, let me come in the shoe tree here. And these just kind of open this guy's up a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, not, other than that, there's not much, um, you know, else to review, but, you know, I, I believe maybe the original also had black insole, um, and I know that for the, 
retro so they may have done a red uh, red insole so um but you know i'm not gonna complain no one's gonna see it anyways um another thing another thing to look at is the the webbing on the side here that eventually this is going to turn all yellow too <laughs> it's again it's inevitable um but that is just a you know the the process and oxidation of the shoes um you know as it gets more exposure to the outside element um, it would just eventually turn yellow yeah, for aging as well uh, the air bubble inside is white which is correct okay um, and let me bring out the uh, the metallic pair all right so here's the black metallic pair um, for the longest time I was debating whether or not if I should you know stencil uh, the 23 on the side um, you know, just to make it look like the Jordan's PE, um, and I decide not to. I think it's it's something that uh, you know, uh, if if you really want to do it, I think you can. Um, but it's it's I'm not sure how this will be done though to stencil it because this is not leather, um, and it might be really difficult to paint over it. <clears throat> but anyways. Um, so these two pair are, you know, the, again, what I call the, 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 the brothers, you know, you have your, uh, you have your brother pair. So, um, I think the, also the Nike Air sign, um, compared to the original is a little bit broader, um, in terms of the, the font size. Uh, but let me see if there's any major difference. It doesn't look there's much of a difference, but except for the A is a little bit closer to the swish here than A here. Um, and the swish might be a, just a little bit longer than the black one. Other than that, the font looks pretty much identical to me. Um, and the tongue is obviously, um, the same as well in terms of the, um, yeah, you can see how this one is a little bit shinier without the light. And let me turn on the light for you guys. Sorry, I wasn't able to turn on the, the light, but... But you, you, I mean, if you have these pairs, you know how bright this is going to be. So, um, in my other video, I showed how bright this thing was. So, and it looks pretty much the same material. So, the, the in terms of the intensity of the brightness, I'm assuming that's going to be the same. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's it for my review. Um, I hope you guys were able to cop. Uh, these do drop this Saturday um, on the on the second, um, and. Uh, yeah, I was really surprised when they dropped on the um, during the first episode of the you know the last dance um, last Sunday. So I was able to cop a pair. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, was this one worth the cop? Did you? Are you guys trying to double up? Are you guys trying to you know? Uh, or was this one a trash? So let me know your thoughts on this. Um, Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Um, I know being quarantined um, you know, really sucks because you can't really go out. Um, and, you know, I'm buying these shoes and really nowhere to go. So, um, but, you know, hang in there, guys. You know, we'll, we'll get through this together. So, all right, guys, be safe out there. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.